And on the tool table, if I want to add a new tool here, and I want to write into there, um, there's no keyboard on it, so there's no letter keyboard. You can plug in from a PC. But without that, what you have to do is you just press your backspace key on this. So you, first of all, you say, allow it to edit. Press your backspace key, and it will come up as it, so you can write into there. But at this point, the only thing you could write in there is numbers, because that's all you've got. If you press your go to button, this is why I'm telling you you won't remember this. From go to now, the letters represent the numbers represent different letters. So if I want to put this in as a six millimeter end mill, what you do is you press six. Now can you see you've got different choices on the six? So that's selected the six. Okay. Now I'm going to go for millimeters, so I'll go six. See it's on the end. Let that go in. On the end, let that go in. And then I'm going to put end mill. So that would be nine. And across to the E, let that go in, and then the N, so we're going to the 6 again, N, and then we want a D, so we're going to go 9, which is a D, okay, and then for mil, I'm going to go 6, and then I want an I, so it's going to be 4, over to there, okay, you see it, when it's done it, it moves on to the next, the next character, and then I'm going to go, L, let that go in, and then L, okay, and at that point you go OK to put it into that box. Now if you made a mistake in there, like if you put a space in there, or a lowercase character, which you can, it doesn't allow that, so all it does is it just doesn't go in. So when I press OK, that's gone in there now, but you can't put spaces or anything like that in there. But that's how you get characters with that go to. As I say, you probably won't remember how to do it, so you've got that, you'll have that video to look at it.